piece of plastic and formed it to make it easier. And I know for a fact, and everyone would agree, we have some of the best cardboard artists around here that can come up with something like that, okay? I've seen more things made out of cardboard than I've ever thought in my life. So, you know, just to form it, to see if it works and everything else, we can do the same thing, okay? So we need to remember to test something. We don't have to have it perfect. We can test it to see if it works and we'll move from there. So you got, Bob's got something in, and then I've got one more thing. Yeah, I think it's good. Uh, yes, sir. Remind everybody that we have the, we have the uh, insurance meetings today with that done. There is the uh, 3 p.m., which is the recommended one from everybody from first in the office. We uh, wanted that to get in and talk to everybody, and it's important that we take advantage of those meetings. The 2 o'clock are for the back shift folks, so they get the equal opportunity to uh, hear what they have to say. It goes back again to the uh, the uh, ECA, the Obamacare we've talked about over time. Uh, since it began, it's been a, a really a shifting landscape. It's almost like walking in sand. Every time you take a step, it shifts and moves on you. Um, you know, it's a big document that got rolled out by the government, and the problem with that is is people started to tear it apart, work with it, and then you actually got to put it into practice. That's where they started to see things go, oh, wait a minute, maybe that's not going to work right. So what we have now is Edna coming in and, and explaining to us the uh, changes for this year's plan uh, and the impact uh, of the ACA. Um, it is an hour-long meeting. Uh, she's going to have a bit to talk about. I really encourage you to hold your questions. They'll, she'll be back on the 19th, and we'll have two sessions that day. With all of our insurance people will be upstairs in the training room, and you can come in and ask questions if you want to change the plan. Today, you're going to get a copy of the summary of benefits and coverages, which is that eight page summary that gives you really the highlights, and those are the important parts for everybody to look at. You'll get those today. I would encourage you to uh, digest them over the next couple of weeks. On the 19th, she'll be back. Uh, Assurance will be here. Those of you who are on the HRA, um, Brian Hyde from Envision will be here. If you remember when we had Blue Cross, it was a seamless transition of documents. With uh, with with that, no, that's not the case. So if you've got questions on how claims to the HRA are being processed, Ryan will be here and you can ask of him. On the 19th, we're we'll really good today for you guys to decide you want to make changes. Um, you get a memo this week, we'll have something posted up. But that meeting's important today, so I encourage you to come, listen to what she has to say, and hopefully it'll help you understand um, the impact of this, this, this app how it's impacting our health insurance. The last thing I will say is on the assurance products, which are dental vision and the life insurance, there was no increase on the premiums of those, so they're going to stay exactly where they were this last year. That's it. Thank you. All right, real quick. Sorry. Um, all right, dude, I'm just going to name off some things. Obviously, we do birthday cakes, right? We do that every year, or every year for each individual, okay? Um, since Roy... Dave left, we changed our incentive program, so now we actually get something every six months instead of trying to, you know, make a profit. We didn't get anything for a long time. Um, we had a 401k, you know, where we got a match. So basically, you know, give, give the company $10, they'll put $20 in your account, right? So it's actually adding money up. I know people have asked to borrow the vans, asked to borrow boxes. People have moved. All this stuff's always been, uh, you know, sort of given out. Um, also handed out shirts stuff like that. You know, this is stuff that Roy's always promoted. You know, Roy really wants to. So to give you an idea, so Saturday morning, I'm sitting there, I get my phone call. I couldn't answer the phone. It says, call me back. About an hour later, I call back and get it. I get another phone call. I need you to call me. I'm like, all right, who, what is it? So I get a call from Roy. Roy had a birthday cake that he bought for his six-year-old granddaughter and had it in the refrigerator in there, okay? First of all, it's a six-year-old's birthday cake, all right? And someone on second or third shift decided to go ahead and grab a chunk out of that, okay? So one, it's not funny, okay? I'm flat out telling you it's not funny because he's done a lot for us, and now that's how somebody respects what he has, okay? It's one thing to just to make a point that it's Roy's name on the box, and they did it. And then to say, the worst part about it, it's a six-year-old birthday cake. So can, you can't even take a picture with that, okay? So it's just ridiculous. I need to know who did it, and that's not the person any of us want to work with, okay? None of us, all right? 
I would feel the same way if it happened to anyone here that had a, had the cake lady bring in, and I say cake lady because I forget her name all the time, bring in a cake for your, thank you, bring in a cake for your child, and then somebody's going to ruin it for your birthday, okay? It's a six-year-old's birthday. So I appreciate it if we can all ask and find out what happened on second and third shift. And if, I don't care if you think you know who did it or you do know who you did it. I'd like that name, okay? So, again... This, this is this is not this is this makes us all look bad. Okay, I, I didn't even know what to say to him, so I had no answers other than I was just embarrassed for us. So, okay, so please, any help that you can give me, I'd appreciate it. All right, all right, thanks, thank you.